And there it is. I still want to know why it's doing that. I think I broke the game by going back. Instead of fighting Lizzie like, I was, like I'm probably supposed to. But I need to get some more some more levels before I actually fight her. Because her her Koi Cryodra is really it, it just destroys my team right now. Because I don't have anything that can withstand ice types except for uh, Huskold. I might just train up to into like the early fifties, like where uh Bulldog is right now. And then go fight her. But until then, I'm going to travel to Green Pine. Ooh, there's a Big Pearl here. Alright. I wanted to see what was down here. That that was it though. So we're gonna go back up and over here so we can go back down. Did I battle you? Oh no, nope, I'm battling Lizzie again. Alright, um What do we got? We got a, another Whaley. Just running into a lot of these. Just gonna run away. Oh, I didn't battle you. Hey, how you doing? Be wary of the currents. You can't go back the way you came. Oh, obviously. Oh, what the? Oh, man, my game broke. Oh, no. Hello everybody, Arctic here, and we are back with another episode of Pokemon Solar Light and Lunar Dark. As you, as you saw from the beginning, we broke the game in the last episode we played, and I had to, uh, I had to delete the, delete my save file and restart. We are back at Rassic, Rassic Castle, and as you can tell already, uh, by the looking at the Pokemon that's sitting right next to me, my team has changed. I wanted, I was gonna do this the same way as I did. When I had originally had to restart, but I ended up doing things differently, and yeah, we are um, we we got we got a whole different team. Well, not a whole different team. There's still a few few similarities in the last, but I'm going to show them off right now. We've got Hollow here, Hollowkin. Uh, if you don't if you don't know, you can actually find this Pokemon in one of the routes. Or you can get it from uh, giving the uh, prof the professor assistant, whatever he was, in one of the cities, a passcode. And you get a shiny Holokin, you get a shiny uh, penguin, I forgot the name, I think it's Pinglet. And there's a few others that you can get, they're all in my box right now, they're all shinies too. They That's how they come, they come as shinies. But we got a level 50 Holokin, uh, Ghost and Bug. He's got a sassy, <laughs> sassy nature, which I, I guess. Uh, got cursed body, which disables a move when used on the Pokemon. So if somebody hits me with like a physical move or something, it gets, it has the chance of getting disabled. It actually came in handy when I was training him a lot. Uh, but it's got Phantom Grip, Phantom Force, Dark Matter, and Bug Bite, which are really good moves. I love them. And he's also holding the spell tag, which. Uh, increases the, the hit, the power of ghost type moves. But we've also got, oh, wait, um, there we go. We've also got Flick, he is back, and yes, holding silver powder, got horn attack, needle arm, X scissor, and horn leech. All my Pokemon are level 50 because I know what levels, uh, Lizzie's Pokemon are, and because I didn't want to battle her before we, we did some training, because that's how we broke the game in the first place, I decided to do some major training beforehand, and while going, while trying to get back to where I was, I was battling everything, everyone, and just getting levels constantly, it was, it was very easy, I don't know how I didn't do it in the first place, uh, well, we got Simba, uh, instead of Rover, or, um, I don't remember the first name I gave it, when I first originally had him, I think it was a girl when I originally had it. But we've got Dusty Dash Flamethrower. I actually taught him Flare Blitz because it's a really good move. Unfortunately, it does damage to us too, but it's still a really good move. And we got Sand Tomb. He's holding the Charcoal, which increases fire type moves. Uh, oops, wrong button. We've also got Huskold. She is back. I think it changed genders since the last time we used it. But. She's got Dig, Ice Fang, Ice Shard, and Crunch holding the Muscle Band. I I didn't I wasn't originally gonna put Hus Huspup back on my team, but.
But then I was like, you know what? I really like this Pokemon, so we're gonna use it again. So yeah, Huskolt is back. We also got Lavender. Uh, as you could tell, she evolved. The only way to evolve her is to teach it. Uh, that, wow. Twi I can't even. I, I can't even say it. Twitter dance. And it, after a lo certain levels, I think it's in the 40s, after learning that move, it'll evolve. And that's exactly what it is. It does not know Tweeter Dance anymore because I got rid of it for Dazzling Gleam. But it knows Petal Blizzard, Magical Leaf, Dazzling Gleam, and Light Burst, which are really good moves. I love them. And then we've got Ping. This is another Pokemon you can get from the Assistant or doc whatever he is, Scientist. I don't know. But if you give him a, if you give him a passcode, you get this. Shiny I don't even remember what what uh, Pokemon this is. This is a Pinglade. It evolve Pinglet evolves, and this thing looks absolutely amazing. It is an absolute beast. This is what this is what um re replaced uh, Pool Dog or Pup Pool on my team when coming back through this playthrough because I originally had a P Pool Dog on my team at this point, but I got I I I still have Pool Dog, but I never. I never um, evolved. I don't have Pool Dog. I have Pup Pool. I never evolved them. But Ping knows Aerial Ace, Icy Wind, Bubble Beam, and Aurora Beam. These moves, it is known since I've got it. It is a really strong Pokemon. I absolutely love it. And that's the last one on my team. We're going to jump right back into battling Lizzie because I know what her team is at. And I'm hoping with this new team I can actually beat her. But we have done so much training to get back to this point. And yeah, we're, if we don't beat her the first time, all we can do is battle her because it's probably going to break the game again. And yeah, here we go. We're going to jump right into this. I still don't know who I'm going to use. Um, I do know her team. So I'm thinking I might use Hollow, Ping, and Simba first. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We all know what you say. I broke the game trying to talk to you last time, so let's let's go. She got dragon types, so we got we're gonna bring uh, we're gonna bring um, lavender because it knows fairy. We're gonna bring ping because it has ice, and we're gonna bring Simba. So yeah, we're gonna go with this, and hopefully hopefully this team will actually bring the victory because if I don't beat her, all we're gonna be able to do is battle her. But at least I know. Alright, so she starts off with Fyndra, obviously. It's been like that. So Fyndra is a water and dragon type. That actually did more damage than I thought it would. Oh, okay. That sounded, that's super effective. It didn't do as much as I thought it was going to do. But that light burst takes out the Fyndra, so we're good there. And I do have this game set back on a set mode instead of switch, is what, which is what I was doing up until this point so that way I could get some exp uh, this thing is going to mega evolve and hopefully this dazzling gleam will do a much a lot of damage are we gonna go first we do go first okay so this this thing this thing is level 50 I thought it was level f was it level 50 when we battled it the first time I can't remember I thought it was in the 40s I thought it was like 47 or something. Alright, Ping, you're up. I don't want to throw Simba out because this thing knows water type moves. And let's see what the Aerial Ace does. That not... Okay, that's not going to do. But Ping is a water and ice type, if you couldn't tell already. And this thing, I absolutely love, love her. She is so... Okay, I was going to say she is such a beast, but that, uh... Wait. No, I don't want pink. I want Simba. Jesus, why would it let me pick Simba? Alright. Um I said the Dusty Dead uh, of course it goes for the of course she goes for the hyper potion. Alright, so that's not gonna do anything. Um We're gonna have to come back and try something different. Alright, yep, that water paws takes Simba out instantly. And saw that one coming. Alright, so... I thought I could do a first, uh, first try, but... Second time's a charm, right? Second and third times. Alright, so we're gonna bring... Hmm... Who should we bring? We're going to bring... 
I guess we'll try hollow, lavender, and ping. Or maybe we'll try hollow, lavender, and flick. Because, this, no, flick doesn't know a psychic type, or a, a fairy type move. And I don't have any fairy type moves to give it, give them. Um, oh, well, we're going to try, we're going to try this and see what we got. We can't do anything else as of right now anyway, so might as well give it another try. I will battle her till I beat her. It's great experience for the team that I take in. And it's good experience for me because I can learn her weak spots, weak points, and defeat her team at some point. Okay, I don't care. I just want to. I just want to learn Mega Evolution. That would be great. I want to see what uh, Simba Mega evolves into. All right, so we're gonna start off with Flick, Lavender, and then Ping. All right. We're going to start off with Flick, because Flick knows two grass type moves, and since Fyndra is a water slash dragon, Flick should be able to handle this thing. Alright. We're going to hit a Horn Leech, see what that does. This is actually a really good move. I love it, because it actually drains uh, HP from the other Pokemon. And we take out the Fyndra. Which is good. Now we have the Koi Kroidra, however you pronounce that thing. Cryodra. Alright, let's hit Needle Arm, see what that does. I don't know how much it's going to do. But I don't like the Mega Evolution of this thing. It is extremely strong. That Needle Arm did nothing. And Flick goes down with one Dragon Pulse. Alright, um, alright Lavender, you're up. I got to figure out how to beat this thing. Don't take me down in one shot. Come on. Oh, Lavender living on five. Okay, that did like nothing. Um, let's hit, let's hit a Hyper Potion because I feel like, I feel like Lizzie. Oh, Lizzie's gonna, okay. Um, you can do that too. That works. Uh, let's hit the Light Burst. Let's take this thing out. Oh, or not. Okay, that works too. Um, Mystic Wave. That does nothing, right? Okay, yeah. That is it's not going to do much to Lavender here. The Dazzling Gleam should take it out. Awesome. Alright. So now all we have is the Cryodra. Alright, we should be able to, to damage this thing with a Petal Blizzard. Unless we, uh, yep, we get taken out. Okay, I figured. Yep. Alright, I might hit a revive on Lavender here. Because I don't know if Pink can uh, do much. That Bubble Beam did nothing. Okay, that Ice Beam does nothing to... Well, let's see what Aurora Beam does. Uh, nothing. Okay. It's me with the Dragon Pulse, which is... Almost going to take out um, Ping here. But we're going to hit the Hyper Potion because I feel like that's what she's going to do as well. Oh no, she's going to go for Water Pulse. Okay. Um, I was expecting... There it is. That's what I was expecting. Alright. Yeah. I know the weak point of it now. But I need... I need Lavender. So if we can... Oh, of course this thing knows Flash Cannon. Alright. So... I'm going... We should be able to take... Oh, I have Max Revives. Never... Ooh, never mind. I'm good now. Alright. So, we can tank this Ice Beam. No doubt. Wow, that actually did a little bit more than I thought it would. Alright, we're gonna hit the Icy Wind. Try to lower its speed. Though we don't really need to, since Lavender's still faster anyway. But, as long as it doesn't go for... I don't even remember the move it went for to take out Lavender in the first place. Let's hit the Petal Blizzard. That's not going to do anything. I forgot. Okay. It's got... That's the, that's the move. That's the move I didn't want it to go for. Oof. Alright. It's probably going to go for another one. So... We're just going to use a Max Revive on... Uh, Ping here. Uh, I've got 
two more, so I might bring back Flick once. I'm going to bring back Lavender once I throw out Ping. Because Ping can handle so many moves from this thing. And she's not... I don't know if she's going to go for another... Another Hyper Potion. I feel like she will. No, she's going to go for Dragon Pulse. Okay. And we're going to get off another Icy Wind. Get the speed down a little bit more. Uh, we should be able to take this thing out with Lavender now. Unless she goes for another Hyper Potion. Which I hope she doesn't do. I've still got one more... Uh, Oh, we might get it. We actually got it. Oh, we actually got it this time. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Lavender. Lavender is now 51. Oh, it only took us, like, two battles and multiple max revives. I never thought I would defeat, be defeated by two young trainers in a row. I believe you are strong enough to handle Mega Evolutions. Here, take this. Hey, we got the Mega Ring. Sweet. <clears throat> I forgot what voice I gave her because it's been a while since I played this. This is a Mega Ring. It contains a Keystone. The keystone is a stone and acts as a medium between a Pokemon trainer and one of his Pokemon. If your Pokemon is holding a Mega Stone and you activate the keystone, they react and your Pokemon is able to Mega Evolve. Some of the Pokemon in this region are able to Mega Evolve like my Cry Cryodra. I hope this will help you on your journey. Be careful. I gave Rodney a Mega Ring too and he took, an took another for a girl named Kira. I think he has a crush on her. <laughs> Probably. That would have surprised me. Honestly. If Rick can beat me, I will give him one too, so your friends will be really strong. If you want to battle with me again, I will be here in Rassic Castle. Bye! Yeah, I don't feel like doing that because I've already broken the game. I've already broken the game before battling you, and I would like to move on. Thank you very much. I want to get to Green Pine. That's where I wanted to go originally, but I can't go there unless I battle her. Oh, hey, uh, uh Rex, I think. <clears throat> oh, Arctic, there you are. I heard you were battling Lizzie in the castle. Ah, that's a mega ring. See you in the battle. Congratulations. We're working hard to understand the balance crystal and determine if it can help us stop those Team Solar and Lunar guys. Don't you worry. But there is a reason I wanted to speak with you. You're a magnificent Pokemon trainer. Thank you, Rex. Thank you. You won the battle against Solar Commander Gloria with ease, and now you've defeated Lizzie too, so I have a gift for you. It will help you in your battle against Team Solar and Lunar too. As you know, I am a dragon type specialist, so I'd like to give you a rare dragon egg. Oh, come on, I haven't even hatched my other egg. You can choose between five eggs, but choose carefully. Each egg contains a Pokemon with a different second type, so choose carefully. Oh, uh, so, um, uh, I'll go, I'll go purple. It sounds like a Spyro egg, and I, I love Spyro, so. Oh, you have no room in your party. You should go make room. I'll wait here for you. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I have six Pokemon. Alright, I haven't even hatched the original egg I got in uh, the daycare center. I was going to, but I never I never got around to it. I probably could have, but I was training up to battle Lizzie. I may, I may do that off screen before the next episode, but we all know what ha- Oh wait, did I? I think I did hatch the one egg. But look, as you can tell, the one episode when we battled the side tricks in, uh, I think it was Sailport- one of the one of the docking port it was docking port. We ended up uh, defeating it, but here and this, I did something different. Some things differently. Whereas I caught this thing, it is a nice Pokemon. I've actually battled with it. It was actually fun to use. We've got a Nawale, a Foxaven. A, I've actually got two of these, but one of them was a shiny. So that's in my shiny box. I do have my wing on, but I never never used them and I never evolved them and I've got a troll lurk not I haven't used it but it's a dark and fairy C probably could have helped us in that battle with Lizzie but the finflex was the one Pokemon that hatched from the egg from the daycare I've never never used one uh, we got a kidlet I don't think I caught one of those in my original but in the shiny box these this isn't these are another other Pokemon you can get from the, the guy you got uh, let's see we got a Moofork, which is an Ice and Normal type. It's a great little Pokemon to use. Uh, we've got Bugs. I don't... Uh, Bunnick. I don't know why I named this, because I was never going to use it. It's got a Lucky Egg. How do you have a Lucky Egg? Um, it's, we got 
Garif Garifier, which I named Fuego, because why not? We got a Fire Ant, which I named Lava. I don't remember naming these things. We got a Dove Heart, which is holding the Destiny Nut for some reason. And we got the we got a Stilla Blue that I caught. I don't even remember. Uh, cool Pool Swamp. Yeah, it was one of the shinies I ran into there. It's a nice, nice Pokemon. But yeah, those are all my shinies. You can get these guys from... I think it was in... Uh, I can't remember the, the city. Um, it was one of the... One of the other cities, I think it was uh, Serpentine. It's either Rustbull or Serpentine. Oh, maybe it was Crestlight. One of the one of these first three first three uh, places you uh, visit, you can get these Pokemon from. I just don't remember which one it is. I have to go back and uh, check it out. But yeah, these are these are really good Pokemon. They all you go you get them all at level ten. I cannot speak. Holy sh. Okay, uh, we're gonna put lavender in the box for now. Don't worry, I'll be back for you. We're gonna grab that egg from Rex. I I'm actually excited to see what it is, but I'm not gonna hatch it right now. I'll hatch it off screen. Uh, we're, I wanted the purple egg. Splendid. I think this one's good for you. Okay, now I have to find Rodney and give him an egg as well. Good luck, Artie. Hey, don't forget Kira. Hey, don't walk on Hollow. Come on. All right. I don't know what this is. What the what Pokemon this egg is gonna hatch into? But like I said, we're not gonna hatch it right now. I wish these eggs were ready to to hatch when you first get them, so where they didn't take so long to hatch. But hey, if you like hatching eggs, there you go. Me, not so much. I do like the Pokemon that come out of them, but the running around trying to hatch them, ugh. I mean, yeah, it helps when you have a Pokemon with, um, like, Flame Body, which I don't have. I have mag Magma Armor, but that's it. I don't know if Giraffe Fire has- no, it has Simple. Fire Ant doesn't have it either, but I don't have a Fire Type with Flame Body, so hatching the eggs is not as fun as it- as it seems. But- we can now move on to um, Green Pine, and then later on to the rest of the the map, which I'm excited to I'm excited to see the rest of this map. But before I get any further, I do have a couple new Pokemon Pokemon ROMs to play after I complete this playthrough and um, Pokemon Insurgents. But yeah, and I'm going to be changing my schedule. At the start of the next year. I don't. Where, is this the way I need to go? I think this is the way I'm going. It didn't stop me. So. the route, This route leads you to Whisper Tunnel. A really spooky cave. Oh yeah. Okay. So this is the way I need to go. Sweet. Alright. Um, I'm going to put Flick up first. Because I feel like this route is going to be a lot of water types. I love this place. I get to enjoy the amazing smell of flowers while I fish for Pokemon. Sweet. Fishing is fun. As long as you don't catch like a week. Oh, he's got a pool dog. Hello. All right. Long time no see there, pool dog. I forgot you have Intimidate. But that doesn't matter because uh, I'm a grass type. And we got it, the flinch. Sweet. All right. We're going to hit the horn leech and take this thing out. Don't really need the uh, extra life drain, but we take out the pool dog and swell again. Yeah, no. Um, this thing, I don't remember what typing this thing is. I don't want to throw Simba out because it could be, it could be a water type and I don't want to, I don't want to take that chance in letting Simba, Simba down. So we'll throw out Ping here and I'm glad I swapped Flick out because that drill pack would have done major damage. Well, we're going to hit the Aurora Beam. All right, that didn't do nearly as much as I thought it was. But let's hit the bubble beam and see what that does. Nothing. That, not a very effective move. All right. This thing just keeps going for drill pack. Is that all you know? Let's hit the icy wind. All right. And a no chatter. And we're confused now. Sweet. All right. We're not gonna be able to hit any moves off because we're gonna hit ourselves. We almost took ourselves out, but that chatter is gonna do it instead. So, yeah. All right, Simba, you're up. Let's see what you can do. I don't think this thing is a water type because it hasn't used any water type moves. It's only used Drill Peck. 
That flamethrower did not take it out. But it's gonna hit the chatter, and we're gonna get confused again. Yay! Alright, uh, let's hit another flamethrower. It's not gonna work, because apparently when, uh, when you're confused by chatter, it does, like, nothing. It, you always hit yourself, no matter what. Oh, look, he broke through. Thank you, Simba. Take out the swell again. And Flick should get a level up. Level 51 now. Uh, Simba does not get anything. What are you? Can we break through the confusion again? Sweet. Alright, that flamethrower does nothing. And it knows takedown. Just like normal. Of course this thing knows takedown. Let's a dusty dash and see what that does. And nothing. Alright. And of course this thing is a water type. Why wouldn't it be? I mean, I mean it, it really looks like a water type. I mean, look at it. I mean, come on. How could I not tell it was a water type? Alright, let's get this ice shard off. Of course it does nothing. Um, I thought I thought that thing took it took itself out. But the crunch is going to take it out. And we're going to get some good EXP from this, I think. Yeah. Alright, back to fishing. Yeah, have fun fishing. Alright. I'm going to use I'm going to go back to the Pokemon Center real quick. We'll be right back. And we're back and ready to go. All healed up. And let's see what we got in this route. I haven't been down yet down here yet. We got a uh, Rubani. Okay, I've seen you before. Uh let's hit the needle arm. Hopefully this thing doesn't have a bouncy ability. Alright, it's got counter though. Literally just healed up and flick is Already dead. All right, uh, we're gonna try a Kesha thing. Ping near up. I feel like you can take some. You can tank some hits, since you are a tank. You're built like one. Holy. Sh okay. Um, let's see if this Pokeball gets it. Nope. Didn't even shake. All right. And it knows takedown. What Pokemon on this route doesn't know takedown? All right. Just. You can you can hit me with takedown all you want. You'll take yourself out because Ping can handle them. But this Ultra Ball should get it. Hey, we got it. Sweet. All right. But now we got a Rubunny, level 38. And Ping is now level 51. We only have three Pokemon under uh, under 51 right now. Rubunny are capable of extreme feats of agility. Not not surprising. I mean, look at it. Ricochet between foes with incredible force. Myths say they can jump to the moon and bounce back. Yeah, I don't think that can happen. It'd be... It'd be funny to see, though. We're not going to give it a nickname, but I would love to see a Rubunny jump to the moon and back. That would actually be super cool. We're going to use the max, our last max revive on Flick here. And we're going to hit a super potion off on Ping. Get, get back to full health. We got two Apricorns. And once I get to the next town, I am actually going to go back to one of the other towns. I think we actually get a special pokeball from somewhere i don't remember where though but we what the heck are you um okay bye what was that old man did you see that pokemon just now that was a healthia it's a legendary pokemon healthia is known as the growth pokemon it has the ability to grow plant life in desolate places with a single touch yeah i just did that over there that's why those flowers appeared there, actually. All these flowers were made by he Healthia. This area is said to be the place where it lives. Isn't that wonderful? I wonder if you'll ever get a chance to see it again. Oh, probably. And if I do, I'm going to catch it. Because that is a nice looking Pokemon. But what else do we Oh, uh, we got an Echo Buzz here. Uh, I don't know if... Let's hit the Exodus and see what that does. That is a super effective move. We take it out, one shot. All right. One hit KO. All right, I'm actually going to swap Hollow up first. Try to get Hollow Simba and Huskold uh, up level. I'm trying to keep all my Pokemon together. We got a Mental Herb. Although we're not, they're not too far behind. Hello, I love this route. The sunflowers look awesome. Dude, did you see he he see walk past you as you were down here when it came down this way? I want to know where it went. What the? A bush hairy? Okay, um, yeah. 
that thing evolves from Babush, I think. I don't. I think it was Babush. Bush. Bush. I don't remember the name. But I'm gonna hit a Phantom Grip. See what that does. And it leech seeds us. All right, we got seeded. That Phantom Grip did almost took it out. Actually, that does a lot of damage. All right. Um, let's hit the Phantom Force. Take this thing away. Well, at least she's still okay. It does. Oh, um, okay. Saw Hollow over there, uh, halfway underneath the freaking Phantom Force takes it out. We got a uh, hey, a Laverina. I actually have one of those. All right, let's hit the bug bite. Maybe. Are we still seated? I think we're still seated. And see, there's a cursed body. It uh, disabled. Yeah, we're still seated. All right, can I switch out? I see. I'm gonna throw out Simba. As long as we can. okay, we can switch out. All right. So maybe that takes away the uh, the leech seed. Yes, it does. All right. We're gonna hit the flare blitz and take this thing out. That's gonna do a little bit of damage to us too. But worth. Wow, that actually did way more damage than I thought it would. That is not worth it. Uh, do I have any other? Fire type moves that I can get rid of. Flame, I got flame charge. Um, but flare blitz. No, I don't want to. I don't want to teach it to hollow. I want to try to teach it to Simba. But it does 50 and flare blitz. Flare blitz does 120. But I don't know. I don't know if I want to. Do I have any stronger fire type moves that I can teach him? Not by the looks of it. I guess we'll keep. Uh, we'll guess. I guess we'll keep Flare Blitz for now, until we uh, learn or find another strong Fire type move that'll compensate. All right, so we can't go that way, obviously. So we got to go back to the grass. Uh, how are we doing? Okay, I need to heal up. Hollow here. Uh, choose a hyper. No, I don't want the full restore. I want the hyper potion. All right, let's get you up. We'll use a super potion on Simba here and take on the rest of this route. Hello. Hey, let me walk in front of you. I need a break from looking at the sunflowers. How about a battle? Sure, I'm ready. Ready for a battle. Bring it on. Leroy. <laughs> Leroy Jenkins. Oh, it's got a. Okay. Um. So we start off with a flying type. Flying and grass type. I actually have uh, the first evolution of this thing. I never evolved it. It continues to go for Giga Drain. I don't know why. That sounded very effective. Alright, let's hit the, the Phantom Grip. It should be enough to take it out. Maybe not. But. We got uh, we disabled the uh, the Giga Drain, so it can't do that anymore. Works for me. Said the Dark Matter. Oh, of course it has Rouge. Why wouldn't it? All right. The Dark Matter is not gonna do nearly as much as I thought it would. And she's gonna okay. I'm gonna swap out here and take this thing out with Simba. That should give Hollow enough EXP to. To level up. Simba should be able to do this, do this thing. Okay. Wow. That Giga Drain did more damage than I thought it was. Flamethrower time. Take it out. Alright. We got that. And Hollow should. Yep. Hollow level is up. Simba so close. We'll get that level up right here. All level 51. Except for uh, Huskold. Simba, yep, there we go. Level up. Alright, I'm going to end off the episode here. In the next episode, we'll take on the rest of Route 14 and get to uh, Green Pine City and take on the gym there. If you guys enjoyed and ready for the next episode, because I know I am, I am so glad to bring this back. And I, It took me so long to get back to where I was because I was uh, trying to train up all my Pokemon, trying to keep them all at the same level, and just it just took a while. But we are back and ready to go. It'll be, I like I said at the beginning, I am going to be switching out my schedule eventually starting in, starting in a new year. 
I will be playing this game and Insurgents a lot more to hopefully complete them and bring forth some new Pokemon ROMs, new playthroughs, and yeah, I'm just really excited. A lot of things are going to be changing, but I'm going to stop rambling now. If you guys enjoyed, then like, comment, and subscribe, and don't, for hit, don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified every time a new video goes up on the channel. And also, don't forget to check out the last video, which was Pokemon Insurgents. But that's all I have to say, so I will see you guys in the next video.